My name is Ruju Boskert and I'm here with Dr. Michelle staben Wapker, who is a chemical engineer working at GlaxoSmithKline in pharmaceutical development. Hi. Hi. How did you get interested in chemical engineering? Well, back when I was in high school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, so some of my teachers said, hey, if you're good at math and science and you really like it, you should be an engineer. So that was pretty much it. And then I started looking at colleges and ended up at NC State. And I got interested in chemical engineering because I was very interested in how we would apply various chemical principles to engineering problems. Why did you get interested in NC State? Well, NC State, as everyone knows, is the best in-state engineering school <laughs> that's a state university. So yeah, it was, it was the combination of it being a really good school and being really affordable that made me end up at state. What kinds of jobs are available for girls out there who want to have a degree in chemical engineering? Well, chemical engineering is great because it's such a broad degree. You can pretty much work in any industry that you want to, whether it's doing environmental remediation, so like fixing groundwater problems, mm -hmm. or you can look at doing foods production or drug production. You can also look at various types of chemical plants, your more traditional petroleum engineers, but so you have a really wide range, including even the newest biotechnology type fields. Um, tell me a little more about GlaxoSmithKline and about your work there and what you most like about working there. So GlaxoSmithKline is one of the biggest pharmaceutical manufacturers in the country and pharmaceutical is a big fancy word for drug. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we develop new drugs that we then market to combat illnesses. And what I do there is I'm working in pharmaceutical development. So the chemical development group comes up with some new molecule that's called the active ingredient in a drug. We take that and turn it into a tablet that can then be dispensed to patients. Wow. Um, did you ever get discouraged uh, in college going into chemical engineering as a female? Absolutely. The nice thing about chemical engineering is it's actually probably more women than some of the other disciplines. It's probably about 30 or 40 percent women at wow. state. But I still got discouraged and I had some professors who were really awesome like Dr. Hall who I think is still at NC State who really encouraged me along the way and you know told me that I could do this. Um, and as you might well know, college tuition is going up a lot these days. How did you get money to go to college? Well, mine was a combination of things. My parents thought it was really important for us to go to college, so they promised half of our education at in-state school for me and my sister. The other, other half of the money came from scholarship money that I was able to get by applying while I was still in high school, and also from working in the co-op program, where I actually worked at what it was Glaxo Welcome at the time, working semesters off between classes. Wow. Uh, so, in addition to those co-op programs, what kinds of activities and jobs did you participate in in your undergraduate years that kind of led you into chemical engineering? Well, a couple of the things that I did at State that were really instrumental was that I did a lot of tutoring, mm -hmm. which I'd done in high school too. I was really interested in helping people understand math and science better. And then I also one summer did a summer research program at another university, and that gave me a feel for why I wanted to go to grad school and do more research in chemical engineering. And what was your research at grad school? How, what did you do your research for your PhD? So the simplest explanation is that we looked at how particles move through channels. So we were looking at how maybe a cell might be transported through a really tiny channel, like the way it's transported in a blood vessel in the body. Wow. And what advice would you give to a middle, middle or a high school student who wants to go into the science field and they're females? The most important thing is to do as much math and science as early on as possible. That made a huge change in how easy, you know, it, college wasn't easy, but that helped a lot to get through college because I already had my calculus out of the way, I already had some of my basic sciences, and that makes a huge difference. You know, take all the AP courses you can because it saves you money in the long run. Wow. Uh, tell us a little bit about GlaxoSmithKline and your work there and what you most like about your work. So at GlaxoSmithKline, I'm in the pharmaceutical development department. Pharmaceutical is a big fancy word for drug. So what we do is we take the molecule that chemical development has come up with, which is the active ingredient, and formulate it into a tablet that then can be dispensed to patients. And what I like most about where I'm working at is that I'm getting to do really interesting, challenging problems of a scientific and engineering nature, but at the end of the day, what I'm doing is actually helping people. What are your hobbies? So one of the biggest ones is Ultimate Frisbee, which has really grown in popularity and I was able to play on the college team when I was in grad school, so that was pretty awesome. And then photography is another big hobby of mine, and travel. What kinds of jobs are available with a degree in chemical engineering? 
Well, most people seem to think that chemical engineers only do petroleum engineering, so like BP and those companies there, but nowadays chemical engineers do lots more things. We work in pharmaceuticals like I do, in the biotechnology field, so all of these new medical devices and medical advancements that people are doing work in foods engineering, so the cereal that you get in the morning, probably a chemical engineer had something to do with that. So there's really a broad range of areas that chemical engineers can work in. Was there something that led you specifically to go into chemical engineering? So I've always been really interested in science. Like I was voluntarily doing all these science fair projects as a kid and always wanted to learn more about the world. And then as I got older, I found out that engineers get to learn about the world and then do really cool applications with it. And I was really interested in chemistry and environmental engineering all along, so I ended up as a chemical engineer. And could you tell us a little bit about your demonstrations? Sure. What I'm going to be doing for the demonstrations that we're doing here is I'm going to be showing you about the types of particle technology that we look at when we're interested in being able to create these new medicines. So you have to look at how powders flow together to be able to make a new tablet.